Welcome to this tutorial series on programming microcontrollers with LD Micro. In this tutorial, we will select the microcontroller hardware settings and compile the ladder program for PIC16F628A and for Arduino Nano. First, let us consider the PIC16F628A microcontroller. The PIC16F628A microcontroller is an extra small size computer inside an integrated circuit chip. It has all the required units and features to function, such as a central processor, input output ports, timers, memories for storing program data and executable code, a clock or oscillator that provides a timer pulse, serial communication, comparator, and lots more. The microcontroller has markers at the top to indicate the start of the pin numbering from 1 at the top left to 18 at the top right. The middle pins 5 and 14 are for power supply, where pin 5 is connected to the negative of your power supply and pin 14 is connected to its positive. The pins at the upper section of the microcontroller are assigned as port A, where each pin has several other functions, depending on what your design is meant to achieve. The pin functions we will consider at every point in this tutorial series will be colored. External components will be connected to pin 16, OSC1, and 15, OSC2 to complete the internal clock circuit for the microcontroller. A crystal oscillator of 20 MHz and two 20 picofarad ceramic capacitors are connected to these pins and then to the negative of your power supply. Port A pins are labeled as ROA0 to ROA5. They can all be set as either input or output except pin 4, which is input only. External input and output sensors, such as switches and LEDs, can be connected to these pins. The pins at the lower section of the microcontroller are assigned as port B. They are labeled as ROB0 to ROB7 and can also be connected to input and output devices and sensors, just like port A. Check out the link to the datasheet of the microcontroller in the description below. Next, open the program we created in tutorial 2 with LD Micro. To select a microcontroller type on LD Micro, click on Settings from the menu bar. Then move your mouse pointer to microcontroller. Then to microchip pick 10 16 MCUs. Finally, select microchip PIC 16F628 18 PDIP or 18 SOIC or any other microcontroller available to you. Next, go back to settings, then click on MCU parameter. This will open up the PLC configuration window where you can adjust the configuration settings. For this tutorial, only change the MCU crystal frequency to 20 MHz, which should be the same as the crystal oscillator we are using for our hardware setup. Then click OK. Pins will be assigned to our program to practically demonstrate its functionality. Notice that below pin on MCU in the lower window area, all variables for the contacts and coils shows not assigned. Double click on X switch 1 to pop up the IO pin window. Select 17RA0 slash AN0 and click OK. Observe that pin on MCU is now 17. MCU port is RA0. Pin name is ROA0 slash AN0 and address is 0x05 bit 0 in brackets. Repeat the previous steps and assign pins to X switch 2 as 18 ROA1 slash AN1, while lead 1 as 6 ROB0 slash INT, while lead 2 as 7 ROB1 slash RX slash DT and while lead 3 as ROB2 slash TX slash CK. Next, compile the ladder program by clicking on Compile 
from the compile menu. Retain the file name of my first program.x and click on save. If this operation is successful, you will be prompted with a window that shows the configuration result. Then click OK. Next, let's consider the Arduino Nano. The Arduino Nano is an open source programmable small size circuit board. It is a breadboard friendly microcontroller board built with AVRO 80 Mega 328 microcontroller. The advantages of working with Arduino Nano over the PIC16F628 microcontroller is that it comes with a 16 MHz crystal oscillator. It doesn't require a separate programmer as it can be directly connected to a computer. It can be directly connected to a power source of between 7 to 12 volts. The best part is that it has similar features of the PIC microcontroller. The Arduino Nano also have a marker at the top to indicate the start of the pin numbering from 1 at the top left to 30 at the top right. Like the PIC microcontroller, most Arduino Nano pins have more than one function. Pins 3 and 28 are provided for reset purpose when the board is in operation. The power supply pins are 4 and 29 for negative connection while the positive power connection pins are 17 for 3.3 volts, 27 for 5 volts, and 30 for V-in. Power source ranging from 7 to 12 volts can be connected to V-in. The digital inputs and output ports are pins 5 to 16 with the label of D2 to D13. Analog input ports are pins 18 to 26 with the label of AREF ADC0 to ADC7. Pins 1 and 2, labeled as TX and RX, are for serial data exchange with other devices. More details about Arduino Nano can be gotten from the link in the description below. Now, let us configure and compile the ladder program for Arduino Nano. Go to Settings and select Microcontroller, then Atmel AVRO MCUs. And finally, click on Atmel AVRO 80 Mega 328 32 pins packages. Go again to Settings, then click on MCU Parameter. Change the MCU crystal frequency to 16 MHz, which is the crystal oscillator in the Arduino board. Click OK. Follow the earlier steps to assign pin to X switch 1. Under the Arduino pin name, select 2 and click OK. Assign pin 3 to X switch 2. 11 to Y lead 1. 12 to Y lead 2. And 13 to Y lead 3. To compile the ladder diagram for Arduino Nano, click on Compile Sketch for Arduino from the Compile menu. Notice the prompts alerting you to remove space from the file name. Rename your program and compile again. Notice the file name is now myfirstprogram.cpp. Click Save. With this, we are ready to download our code to the PIC16F628A microcontroller and the Arduino Nano. In our next tutorial, we will identify and describe the various hardware and components that are required to set up and test our program. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell below to follow through this series. See you soon.